In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to customize our workspace by adjusting the size, the location, and the visibility of the various panels that make up the PowerDirector interface. Let's start by looking at the library area on the left. Now we know that we can adjust what we see in the library area by clicking on the icons in the left side or pressing the appropriate function key. Right now I'm looking at titles, I can click here and I'm looking at transitions, I can go back to all my media. I can also adjust it by hovering between that panel and the preview panel and drag it to the right so I can see more. I can also click on the little blue arrow that opens up the Explorer view that will allow me to see such things as color boards or sound clips, background music, downloaded elements, or I can even use tags to view a subset of what I happen to have in my media library room. But there's something else we can also do with this. I'm going to close the panel. I'm going to right click anywhere and then I have the pop-up menu. One thing I can do now is dock and undock the library window. Let me click on that option. When I click on that it gives me the ability to take that window and make an independent window on my desktop. It doesn't stay within the PowerDirector screen. If PowerDirector doesn't occupy my whole desktop, I can take and drag it completely off the screen. Or if I have a dual monitor set up, I can drag it to the other screen. So we can move it around wherever we want and it still functions as it did before. Now, I also have the option of the three buttons at the top. The right button with the arrow pointing in will redock it. I'll click it there. And now it's docked wherever, however it was when I separated it. And I'll right click on it and we'll click on dock on dock again. The center is the one that will maximize it. That will make it full screen on that monitor. And there's an icon on the upper right to make it partial screen going back to the original size. The third one is the most interesting for me. It will actually minimize it. And when it minimizes it, you don't see it anywhere. You don't see it in PowerDirector, and I don't see it anywhere on the desktop of my monitor. Where did it go? Well, if this happens and you wonder where can I find it, you simply click on the icon that appears to the left of your name, and that will display anything that has been minimized. Right now, my media library has been minimized. If I click on it, I get to see it again. I'm going to minimize it again, but I often find it's nice to take the media library and put it elsewhere on my second monitor when I'm working in PowerDirector so I can focus on the preview and the timeline until I need it again. The other option that you have is you can do this also with the preview screen or the timeline. With the timeline, I'm going to above the timeline and, and choose Dock Undock Timeline Window. When I click here, the timeline acts just like the media room and now all I have left is my preview screen. So I can take and move this, drag it, resize it any way I want. It is independently floats on my desktop or desktops, depending on my monitor situation. So that's what I can do with that one. Now I can minimize that as well. And now you notice when I click on the icon by my name, it says both of these are minimized. You can also do the same thing actually with the preview screen. If I click there, now the preview screen is minimized. I'll click here and now they're all gone. All I have is my raw PowerDirector interface. All three panels are minimized. I'm going to pull one of them back for now. Let's just take the uh, uh, preview screen and pull it back. And again to redock them in the default position you just click on the dock and preview window and now it will dock it. Let's redock our timeline as well. I'll click on timeline and I'll redock that to the default position. This also works if you have changed your view. I'm going to click on the view at the very top and I'm going to say show library preview window. Now this will show any file that is highlighted in your library. Let me go back to my library and I see the file I've highlighted is this bridge 1-0 and so now I see that one. I can also, well, let, let's put the library back on. And I can also dock or undock this one by clicking on the right. Dock, undock that window. 
And so I can take this and put it on a different monitor, put it at a different place. And so I have fully customizable positions and sizes for all of these windows. So if there's some that you prefer not to have occupy your working area, you can always use the docking option and get them back instantly the moment that you need them. I'm going to simply minimize this one for now. But that's a nice feature of CyberLink PowerDirector. I wish we could customize it so the position, location, and visibility of all these could be saved in a preset. That's not available right now to my knowledge, but it would be nice if you can automatically click on something and it will set the windows where you prefer to work. This is a great way to customize your space so that you can maximize your efficiency as an editor in CyberLink PowerDirector.